there's a particular courage all speakers have to share something from their life, you know, in front of a group of people like this. The thing that really opened things up the most was an Akashic record reading. Now, if you're not familiar with what an Akashic record reading is, it's kind of like a, a soul reading. They say that every soul has a book up in heaven's library. And in this book, it has every possibility for every lifetime of the soul, past, present, and future. The day came, I call up Heather. I'm like, Heather, I'm broke. Picture this from her perspective. Yeah? Heather, I'm broke, and I, I, I want to live in Toronto in a really nice area, and I want to do like a value for rent exchange. Like, would you want to sign up? She says, well, considering that you're working in our business and I'm mentoring you, um, I don't think it's, frankly, I don't think it's appropriate. I sat next to my brother, and that day, you know, when there's dark, let there be light. I looked in his face, and there was just the slightest. He was stoned on morphine, like way stoned on morphine by this point. Only one slit of his eye, his left eye, which is the feminine eye, the receptive eye, the left eye. Slightest slit. And all I knew was that I had to get my brother back here in this world one more time to give him a farewell to help him leave with grace and dignity and joy and ecstasy. As of today, both of my daughters are in university and they, can, they have a confidence in their mom that she can do anything she says she do and she can do it. And they are confident and they have their own life choices and they know their mother would support them. My family and my culture who looked down on me in the past now looked up on me and know the woman who did it. Today, I make good money. I have investment properties. I have my own home. I have a sexy car and a sexy boyfriend. I have it all. But here I am at six feet and an inch tall, fairly broadly built, epitomizing everything that a male should be at that age, yet inside just feeling tortured, what do I do? I decide that I'm a freak. I decide, because at this point, remember, nobody else knows. So I decide. I'm a freak. I'm weird. I don't fit in. I'm perverted. I'm disgusting. 